Hey, today I'll be reviewing Grand Old Par. It's a blended Scotch whiskey, 12 years age stated. See you guys in a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is boring as hell. Hold on, let me try that again. Let's go. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers to another episode of Whiskey Quest. Seen a lot of you guys have joined the channel. Just want to say thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio. And in this channel, I like to try whiskeys from all over the world. I also love to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. So if you're curious about whiskey, you want to learn more about whiskey, just in general, you love whiskey consider hitting that subscribe button with the bell notification stick around for more videos let's move on with today's whiskey review now this is one of my favorite blended scotch whiskeys out there it's got a age statement of 12 years old it's um bottled at 40 percent abv uh, for 80 proof it delivers quite a bit of flavors that i think will surprise you seriously now this will cost you anywhere between 25 and 30 dollars and the good thing is because it's mass produced you typically see this going on sale quite often so they add coloring to this so i'm going to skip the color on this but we'll move on to the nose yes very first thing that pops out for me it's a nice pear note and it's it's more like a like the sweeter pear to me it's like those brown pears Nice chocolate vanilla coming out of the glass. And there's also a nice hint of peat. So it's, it's, a, it's a light hint. So if you're trying to get into peated scotches, this might be something for you to dip your toes in. You know, it's not going to be like, wham, that's a lot of more, well, at least not for me. It might be for you. So that, that'd be curious for me to see if uh, any of you guys tried it or tried it for the first time. Do you get like a strong amount of peat or like a nice nice whiff of peat but yeah very nice on the on the nose here let's move on to the palate cheers everybody mm. oh yeah that's just nice it's nice and delicate but it gives you a nice mouth coating those flavors that are there they come out nicely you get that nice pear note, a little bit of apple on the taste also. Nice spicy chocolate, all right? It's a nice combination of a chocolate and spice going on there. Very nice. And obviously that nice peat smoke, I think comes out a little bit more on the taste than it does on the nose. But overall, it's very light. Now the finish to me, this is really, gives me a really nice medium, almost to the long kind of side of the finish, but it does end with a nice chocolate, smoky kind of flavor. It's like a, like an ashy, almost ashy kind of flavor. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's nice. Just going to add one drop of water and talk a little bit about this bottle here while that opens up. So let's set that right there. So this bottle here was named after this old dude right in the front of the bottle. He was an Englishman named Thomas Parr and he was rumored to have lived 152 years old. Man, you know you know how this guy reminds me of? He reminds me of Jim from Whiskey Novice. I mean, check it out. Add some glasses, a hat, see the resemblance? Hey, if you guys don't know who he is, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Awesome dude, does some really good reviews. He dwells in all kinds of whiskey, so also has a relaxed kind of chill vibe going on. I really enjoy his videos and I think you guys will too. So link in the description below, go check him out. 
Anyways, this bottle has been around since 1909, but oddly enough, and I'm sorry for the UK people, they don't sell this out there. This is more here in the US, South America, Mexico, it's a scotch. So why the hell don't they offer it over there? It is what it is. So if I hope, I hope you guys come across this bottle. Let's see what we get on the nose with a little bit of water. Oh yeah, that pear, a little bit more uh, pronounced this time. Vanilla, the same notes coming out. The peaty smoke, pretty much gone this time. Let's see what we get on the palate. Cheers, everybody. Mm. A little bit watery this time. Got sweeter. Less spice, still chocolatey, lighter peat smoke, but overall it still has a nice amount of flavors going on. A little bit minty now this time. Finish, I think just goes down to the short side, but it still leaves you with that nice ashy smoke, but this time with a nice sugary aftertaste going on. Overall, I think I enjoy this better without that drop of water. So my final thoughts on this bottle right here, I think it's a fantastic blended scotch. I mean, it's got a nice age statement of 12 years old. It'll cost you between 25 and $30. Like I said, it goes on sale. A lot of the times I've seen it for under 25. So that's a great buy at that price. Again, coming from Diageo, they also make Johnny Walker and I do prefer this over the, the black label. So, I mean, it's a nice bottle. It's unique, chubby. Look at that pattern that they have on there. Put this on your bar, people will be like, what is that? You know, it looks looks a little, little odd looking, you know, so it'll grab some attention. So I'm sorry for the people out in the UK, but if you guys are out traveling or something and you happen to see this, definitely pick it up, especially if you like blended scotches. Now I'm gonna score this for you guys. And like I said, it's one of my favorites. So. I'm gonna give it a solid 88 of 100. It's not gonna blow your socks off, but I think it's worth having and what it has inside the bottle is very nice. So again, thanks for stopping by for this quick review here. Hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Again, thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to give me a like, share it with your friends, drop me a comment below, all them things. I love hearing from you guys. And again, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Stick around for more videos just like this. See you guys next week. Peace. All right. Oh my gosh, Moana, can you can you snore a little bit louder? <laughs> <laughs> she did. Gotta roll up and now See you from a fog Got my thoughts in the sky Where we used to kiss Sunshine shit and why You gotta call me Every day pretending you my baby I see more real out there lately It's crazy Yeah we could be